I wasn't really up for Crash today. I didn't really want to throw myself Crash 4, and it's uh, charmingly difficult levels. So I thought, what's the most relaxing game that I can think of? Something that I can just kind of chill out to for two hours and just have a great time. And obviously, the answer that I came to was uh, Trials. Monday, Monday, Monday! It's Monday Nitro time! I don't know what that is. That's just what plays when the game starts up for some reason. Also, it's got some weird issues. With the, weird issue with the sound settings that I have to do that manually in order to get them right. Anyway, so this is Trials 2, second edition. Not to be confused with Trials 2, original edition. I'm not fully aware of what the difference is other than that this one is on Steam. Also, doesn't seem to have controller support. Maybe. Maybe you just can't customize the controller stuff. I haven't got in, gotten into the game and actually tried it yet. So, uh, I just, I made sure that I was able to record successfully. It was all I did. Welcome to the Trials 2 Second Edition tutorial. You now learn the basics of trial bike handling. Up to accelerate, down to brake. Okay, so same as the previous, the Flash Trials games, which I'll talk about a little bit once we get into things. Got to work the brakes. Okay, basic stuff. Press any button to continue. Where's the any button? Just to confirm. Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh, hmm. Okay. So there is... There is controller support. Even if it doesn't make it obvious. Except it's not the same as the... It's not the same as the, the keyboard, the up, down, left, right. I have lean forward and backward with the stick, and I have uh, the triggers go forward and back. Which is fine, that's comparable to uh, later Trials games. Let's see, I don't know what the reset is, if there is one. I guess Shao Kahn is in the game. I didn't know that either. Can I continue, or do I need to... I, I think I need to use the mouse to navigate everything. Other than actually playing the game. Oh, this is, this is full-on, like, every single little baby step tutorials. I wonder if there's sensitivity. I'd probably not, because this is a, is a game designed for keyboard. I think the uh, later Trials games have uh, trigger sensitivity. So that you accelerate to varying degrees depending on how much you're pressing down the, uh, the controller trigger. I know, how to, I know how to play trials. I know how to ride a bike. I've ridden a bike before. You ride a bike, you never forget. Uh-oh. Well, hmm. I say that. Okay, start on the, on the controller is the reset. I got it. Knocked unconscious. Is that all that happened to him? I guess those aren't checkpoints, because it keeps sending... No, start sends me back to the beginning. Backspace. Okay. So select is the previous checkpoint, and start is the... Begin the whole level over again, button. Having, 
having to go over the mouse after the end of every level. Oh, this is this is new. So this is the first 3D trials game. That didn't work. You couldn't do that in Trials Flash. It was fully 2D. So I should explain. I've done one trial stream. Well, we've done two trial streams. We did. We got into the beta for the current latest trials game. But in terms of playing the games in order, I've effectively only done the first one. And the trial series is kind of weird in the way it, uh, in its inception and how it's come to be. Come to be. The first Trials games were Flash games. And, uh, it was just a, it was a whole collection of them made by the, the creators Red Links. This was before Happy, Happy Wheels. It was basically the original Happy Wheels was Trials. And they put out a whole bunch of different Trials Flash games. And, uh, they were like shockwave executables. Trials 2 was also a uh, PC executable. And this is a remake of Trials 2 on that is available on Steam. This is the earliest Trials game that is on Steam. The one I played before this was uh, Trials Legends, which is a Red Links made executable of like all the original Trials 1 stuff. They just kind of compiled it together in an executable that is available for free on their website and includes all of the, like a, bu a bunch of the best Trials 1 content, the original Flash games, which is very cool of them to do. I appreciate that. They didn't have to do that, but they, they preserved Trials 1. They future-proofed it for machines that can't run the original games anymore. Like, I, me, I couldn't, run the, I couldn't run the original games. When I tried to do a stream of them, the Shockwave executables. So there was Trials 2 on PC, there was uh, Trials HD, which was, I believe, a remake of Trials 1 stuff in 3D. It looked a lot like this game, but it was Xbox Live Arcade exclusive, so I have no means of playing that one. I, I don't own an Xbox. Well, I feel like I probably, maybe I should have read that, uh, that intro. Suddenly I'm hitting a proverbial wall. Try the arrow keys. Well, you can't reverse very fast in this one. Now the arrow keys were not any easier. Let me back out and see if it'll show me the text again. Alright, spring jump. Essential to learn this technique to pass the majority of the levels. Lean completely backwards, accelerate, and then just as you reach the edge of the ramp, quickly lean forwards. Okay, so the bu bunny hop, more or less. As the name of the series suggests, there's a whole lot of trial and error to trials. Uh-oh. I do like it, uh, I do like it, though. This is a series that I didn't grow up with. I don't really have any, like, history with as a teen or anything. But I do enjoy it a lot. 
And I kind of I forget about it when I think about games that, you know, series that I'm attached to. Honestly, this is probably the only uh, Ubisoft-owned property that I am still attached to. You know, I liked, I liked Rayman 1 a whole lot, but... None of the other Rayman games, really, so I can't really say I'm a fan of the Rayman franchise. Oh! I didn't get the checkpoint. So this will be the remainder of the stream. It's just, it's gonna look like this. This is what Trials is. Depending on how far I get, how much of this game there is, I might... I might do a full playthrough of these Trials games. I enjoy them enough. Made me aware of the series was uh, Rooster Teeth Achievement Hunters early Trials videos. They had a series called Trials Files that showed off a lot of uh, user-created Trials levels in uh, I don't know if it was, I think Trials HD was the one when they started, because they were, you know, Xbox Live Achievements guys. But then there was Trials 2, there was Trials Evolution. Trials Evolution was the one that they were on for a very long time. After that came Trials Fusion, and the current one is Trials Rising. And I've played Evolution and Fusion on my own time. This one I had, I'd never gotten before. I've never played the Trials 2 levels. And I'm surprised to see a game that's on Steam still looking so... Uh, Unoptimized, I guess. I mean, it looks nice. This is a nice looking game. And I'm glad it does have controller support. 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 I'm glad it's got controller support. But you wouldn't know it looking at the menus. The menus ain't mentioned no controller support. There we go. Ooh, ooh, please. I just gotta survive to the checkpoint. Rider for Smash. Actually, you know what's more popular is Achievement Hunters uh, Minecraft Let's Plays. So if you ever if you've ever wondered, this is the, this is the origin of Jack's Minecraft skin. It's it's trials. He's the trials guy. Okay, finally. Oh, I just had to stay upright on the top of that stupid thing, and there I go. That's okay. I got a checkpoint. And of course, the first jump is by far the hardest one. The other ones are just cake. Look at that. I can just cruise on through. Also, one of those kinds of games with much silly ragdoll physics. But the Trials game came, games came before Goat Simulator, so you know, this was before it was cool. Most important jumping technique in Trials 2, Spring Jump. I'm sorry, no, that's what we just did. Switch Jump. So I think this is the kind of jump 
they're talking about to get over, like, uh, obstacles that go straight up. Well, that went well. It is, it is fake Shao Kahn. That's exactly what it is. Trials. Boy, our Jack. Oh, I started the level over again by accident. That's fine, the first part's not hard. Our Jack. I, I don't think would have the patience for these games. Maybe he would. He sometimes likes to, like, he th likes things that he can just throw himself over and over at again. He loves Dark Souls. This is the Dark Souls of Extreme Sports Games. It kind of is, though. Like, every level, you just have to get just the right techniques to progress through all of the obstacles you're given. Much like pattern memorization in a Dark Souls boss. Uh oh What happened to my bike? That's not how a bike is supposed to look! working on uh, highlights of the first trial stream I did. Those should be fun. Uh-oh. Uh, mm. I, I have become bad. Wait, no, I'm fine. I just live down here. I have become bad. readjust down here. Maybe that's what I need to do. Oh, I should have got that. Someone once said the definition of insanity is attempting the same thing multiple times and expecting different results. This person never played Trials. Okay, we just got a normal level now. Are we done with tutorials? Also different bikes in these games, typically. I don't know when I'll get the option of other ones, or if the others are faster than this one. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I should let the deaths play out. Those are gonna be the best part of the stream. This series went full on into the ragdoll as it went on as well. With uh, it, it like it started to like end ending levels with uh, uh oh my controller came undone. There it is. And included uh, gratuitous explosions and other things. remembering some of the levels that I'm going to have to redo if uh, I do decide to do flesh, yeah, flesh playthroughs of uh, Trials Evolution and Fusion. Fusion, we did a video of, I think it was Fusion, in on the Jax channel 
It was just a replay I'd saved of a level that took me a ludicrous amount of time to get through. It was like a subspace area made out of cubes. And it was, it was ludicrously difficult. I wonder if there's a... I wonder if there's like a track list or something in this game. Can I see... I would like to see how much of this game there is. Like how much I have to do. This is a... $10 game on Steam. So it's not bad at all, price-wise. Still, they're pretty... It's bare bones for a Trials game. It's the first one on Steam, so... Someone mentioned uh, Happy Wheels 2 in development, and I don't know if they were joking. Here we go, list tracks. Okay, so we got easy, medium, hard, flip, wheelie, dynamic, and downloadable. But like DLC? Do I have those? They're highlighted, so I guess I have them. Yeah, this could be... Uh, this could be several streams. I might do all of Trials, too. Give it two or three streams. I say that. I'm gonna get to the end of, like, stream three and be halfway through the game because the levels got so atrociously difficult. But hey! It's still- it's not Crash 4. there's not a whole lot you can do with this concept, though. It's, it is so very bare. It's such a basic thing. Things they've added to it over the years. Uh, obviously, the level editor. Even uh, Trials Legends. The co collection of the Flash Trials games at a level editor. I didn't, I didn't see on the menu if this does or not. I also like how this one has to establish that the rider was knocked unconscious. As if it weren't apparent, or perhaps they're trying to deny the fact that he's dying. No, he's, he's, you don't. If you don't kill Pokemon, you knock them out. Parents never understood that. A lot of parents I knew anyway just assumed that the Pokemon were all killing each other, and that it was a much more violent series than it is. I mean, it's still a violent series, but... It is nice every time you do some kind of cool shit in this game. A lot of cool shit in this level. Look at that. Cool shit. But I could, I, I could cheese this. Kinda. Probably not worth cheesing, though. I, sh I shouldn't be laughing at this. speed to not decapitate myself there. I guess. Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can cheese it this way. Maybe I can really cheese it. Yeah! Cheese. That does seem to be much easier than taking the loop. The loop might be a trap. I just knock my head off every time I take that loop. Oh, 
uh, they started to add collectibles in the later games, like the, uh, at some point there was like, uh, it became an in-joke with Red Links to have, like, squirrels everywhere. So those are collectibles in later Trials games. I think Evolution has those, just the, the game immediately after this one. They added, uh, multiplayer. Various types of multiplayer. There was, uh, obviously taking turns, leaderboards where you can compete for times was always a part of Trials. But, uh, they added... Like a four-player, up to four-player multiplayer mode where, uh, you were all going side-by-side, side, like, Excite Bike style. Which looks like a lot of fun. If I had people to play with, I would have loved to play that. I kind of feel like I missed out on this series as a kid. Slash teenager. Uh, let, me, let me try to loop again. The loop didn't work. Should have braked on the loop. That was a mistake. This isn't Sonic. I guess I guess the message helps you know if like your driver is really out or not. Oh, that was almost it. I dodged the decapitation, but I didn't land right. Man, and this is what these are. What these are the easy levels. is still going on. I mentioned that during the uh, Smash Me Brawler crew battle that went on yesterday. I'm not particularly interested in any of the conferences besides Nintendo. Ubisoft's happened yesterday. Ryder is dead. But Oh, there's a difference. It's sometimes unconscious, sometimes dead. Ubisoft's conference happened yesterday, and they revealed a second Mario Rabbids game. So, which gave us more Mario characters as Rabbids, which the internet has, of course, gone nuts with, particularly uh, Rabbid Luma. And some weird one who looks like an anime character with, like, black hair and green highlights. I don't know what the story of that is. anything else from uh, the Ubisoft conference that got people's attention, just that people didn't seem to think it was a very good conference. Uh, the Square Enix conference happened today. And Darian, I know, watched it. He's mentioned a few things to me, like uh, Final Fantasy 1 through 6 collection, using the PSP versions of the games. which are supposedly the best versions of the games and have not been ported to anything else thus far, so I guess that's cool for uh, Final Fantasy fans. And a uh, Final Fantasy spin-off game that takes place in the setting of Final Fantasy 1. Which I'm not a Final Fantasy 1 fan at all, but that sounds interesting. I'm curious how they're going to go about that. 
Like, are they gonna have the characters with no names? Because Final Fantasy 1, they didn't have inherent names. They were just fighter, white mage, black mage, red mage, etc. And it was overall a very generic JRPG kind of game on the NES. I'm really struggling with this loot. I'm in the process of watching Code Lyoko Evolution, the entirely unnecessary live-action continuation of Code Lyoko. So those are things that we'll probably uh, talk about next time we stream together. myself later. What other conferences are there? There's the usual PC gaming conference, which I probably, I, I don't really, I don't think I'm gonna look at. Because it's usually focused towards, like, uh, Alienware, eSports, e PC gamer, shoot shoot kind of stuff. The problem I think I care about. There's no Sega conference. Capcom, I only care about. Uh, I don't really follow any Capcom series. Other than that, there's reason to suspect there might be a Mega Man Battle Network collection coming out. Since they've done collections of every other Mega Man series and spin-off series, basically. And the, it's having an anniversary this year have an anniversary every year, but I think I recall this year was a significant anniversary. It was like the 20 year or something. And I would be very happy for a, a Battle Network collection, just because it would get more people, it would make more people aware of the series talking about it again. That's one of my favorite series. It's a, it's a very good, very unique RPG series. It got really big during its time and then just has since kind of been forgotten about. Oh. God. Okay, two times in a row. Boy, there's not a... There's really not an obvious way to do this. I, I try to lean forward when I come out of the loop to not, you know, decapitate myself, but it doesn't... It doesn't really help because then it messes up my landing. And even just making the loop in the first place isn't super consistent. This will just take me like two or three streams. This isn't a very hard game. I should be fine to get through it. Man, put me on a skateboard. If this were Tony Hawk, I would have this. Music is definitely more substantial than uh, Trials 1. Trials 1, if I remember, the or Trials Legends, rather, was pretty much just a repetitive short loop of, like, a drum and bass kind of thing.
Maybe that was the maybe those were the flash games. So if I go full speed at the end of the ramp, I'm at a bad angle. But it seems no matter how I go off the ramp, I'm at a bad a bad angle after the loop. I'm trying to figure out how to get the angle such that I can uh, go on through without captivating myself. I'm not having any success. If I go too slow, then I just don't make the gap. planning a dungeon fighter online stream for a while. But I have just haven't gotten around to it. I didn't really enjoy the game when I played it on my own a long time ago. But I've always liked the soundtrack and I got some more of it recently and I kind of wanted to give it another chance. kind of difficult to set up for streaming, though. And it would be an MMO, so it would be like the boring, low-level, early part of the game. And I'm a little worried because uh, just recently, within the past couple days, one of our videos, one of our former streams, got uh, taken off of YouTube. It was the Maple Legends which was the old version of uh, MapleStory, the private server that I play on sometimes. I did one stream on that. And I guess Nexon has a guy in Korea that they use to hunt down and remove... like private servers and or content relating to private servers. Because, you know, they want people to play the current version of the game, with the, with the, which they can profit off of. Even though they're not going to, like, put work into upkeeping the game or fixing any of the problems with it, because, you know, who, who wants to make a good game? The problem isn't that, you know, your player base wants to play an old version of the game. I'm ranting, but I don't have anything else to talk about. God, Nexon can be frustrating, though. I've heard stories about them, uh, like, going after small MMO startups. And just, like, buying them out or otherwise stuffing them out so that they can't become a MapleStory competitor. Just a lot of very scummy business practice stories from Nexon. Please. What's the point of the loop if you're just gonna kill me afterwards? Like, I have to go fast in order to make the gap. There has to be a way that I can go off that at speed and not die. That I'm just, like, I'm missing. And I'm gonna be mad at myself when I learn it. Well, that was cool, but it didn't help me. Also, I keep doing that. I just keep leaning into my death. I see someone's watching. No chat today. That's okay. I wonder where Darian's at. I wonder what he's doing. Jack is uh, working today, so we were not able to stream this weekend. We could have done something yesterday, but... Wasn't, wasn't feeling up to it. And I'd already done the, I'd done the Smash Crew Battle stream, so that's fine. Now, please get up without bonking your head on the stupid wooden platform. I 
actually had to end the uh, Trials Legend stream early. Because I think I had to get to get to work was the issue. I was at the second to last level in the game, and I just I did not have time to, to cinch the wind. I went back on my own time recently, and I spent like an extra half hour, and I did fi I finished the game. It's just a shame that I couldn't do it on stream. Try again. Ryder, please, what are you doing? This is a Christian stream. Maybe I can, like, uh, maybe I can land on the tires such that I can uh, bunny hop on my back wheel. This is, that's so much more complicated than the loop would imply this level to be. It also seems doomed to fail, so maybe I shouldn't do that. get into position down here and then I just I can't get up on the stupid thing. I can't get my back tire up. I wonder the, uh, what the Trials community is like these days. I haven't, because I was planning to stream these games, I didn't really get too deep into any of them. So I haven't looked at like, uh, I haven't looked at what the, uh, I haven't looked at what the Trials Rising community is doing with, like, custom levels or anything like that. This was, like, one of the earliest series to have a, uh, a track creator. Which is cool, I'm glad they had it. Would have been nice if more games had it uh, earlier on. I think if I remember correctly, Super Mario Kart had plans of a track editor. Like back when they were making the very first Mario Kart game. And that was a feature that got cut before the game's release. I lean back at all, and I just go, I go f flying right onto my ass. Maybe a flip. Maybe a flip will save me. Front flip didn't work. Back flip didn't work, but it came closer. Let me try a back flip again. I don't think the back flip will have me land on the other side. What? Well, hmm. Technically, I landed on the other side, but my bike did not. Please, just let me get to the next part. There's not a bail in this, is there? 
later games have a uh, bail option where you can jump off the bike. Oh, hello. Oh, what is this? I didn't know this was a thing. I don't like this. Headlight? Oh, ew. Ew, no. Action. I think that's what I was on. That's a lot of camera modes in this game. That's a lot of useless camera modes this game has. I was hoping that maybe my bike would trigger the checkpoint, but no, it doesn't work like that. Bridge constructor, this is not. Okay, so L, L1 and L and R1. Change between camera modes. It does not appear to be a bale. So I, I cannot propel myself off my bike to the checkpoint, sadly. I don't actually know if that even works in the later trials, in the later trials games. If you're gonna get any progress while in the process of bailing. I know in multiplayer you can do it to get to the ending. The end of the level before other people. Skip. Can I just go to the next level? I don't understand what they want me to do. And I just know this is going to be one of those things where if I uh, just stop playing and come back tomorrow, I'm going to complete this in like three attempts. I was trying to, I, I hit start to pause the game, and that's the... That's the uh, restart level button. What is this? This is Fiery Justice. I, th I think we can skip. I think we have a little leeway. So let's do that. I'll come back later to that one. Also going backwards because I, I don't know. In other games, there might be like a squirrel back here, but I don't think this game has any collectibles or anything like that, so. Oh, just a wall. are live on YouTube because uh, Restream gave me a warning about stream availability on YouTube. After the, uh, the Nexon hissy fit over Maple Legends. Since that was a, that was a copyright strike on the channel. I, I try to be cool, and it just gets me killed. What is that website? Mini clip. Three games and shows. This is 
fine. Maybe not. Oh, why would you put a checkpoint there? Uh-oh. Actually, I was still alive. I could have continued that, but... Okay, that's fine. Good enough. I got the checkpoint. That's all that matters. Do a little bounce. Do a little death. Do a lot of death. I also got a, uh, I got a two terabyte internal drive just recently because I was sick of not having any space to install games on. So I got that and now I have space to install Steam games. So might try some of the bigger games that have been sitting in my library that have been not worth installing. Like, uh, I have always owned GTA 5, but it's a 100 gigabyte game, so I've never installed it. Also, uh, I'm playing through Burnout Paradise again, but don't tell EA because I'm still mad at them. I've never played a GTA game, but I figure it might, uh, might serve a similar function. Just driving around exploring the city. Could be fun. Maybe I should get Red Dead Redemption. That always looked kind of interesting to me. I think Red Dead has a more interesting uh, single-looking single-player than uh, Grand Theft Auto. I'm never really interested in the single-player for Grand Theft Auto. Just a, a bunch of punk criminals in a modern city is somehow not as enticing as Cowboy Guy. These are all, these are all way easier than whatever that stupid loop level was. I was hoping the bike would make the loop. There's, a, there's something there that's cut my head off. Uh-oh. Oh boy, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of, a lot of different routes. This, this is like a Sonic level. Da, 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 I'm fine. I made it. Doing surprisingly well on this. I like this level. I dig it. I dug it. Oh no. Oh no. Ah! Uh... Who lighting on this level, too?
Alright, easy 10. I think this is the last easy. And then we get to move on to medium, featuring more levels that will not be as difficult as that loop-de-loop. -loop. The lean in these games is interesting because it's permanent. I don't have to like hold right to do what I'm doing. I just, I tap right and he is now permanently leaning forward until I move him back left again. It's just kind of the way the games work. You gotta get used to the feel of them. I don't know how Happy Wheels compares. I don't know that I've ever, well, I've, I've tried Happy Wheels. Maybe briefly, on my own time. I don't remember very well. Then there's, uh, the unofficial Happy Wheels 2. I mean, it basically Happy Wheels 2 was Guts and Glory, it was Happy Wheels 3D. Which I have installed, and me and Jack will probably do a video of it at some point. Way after everyone else on the internet has gotten to it. Long after it's relevant, but who cares, it looks fun. Way easier than the loops. Or the, the loop singular. What are they doing? Oh no, he's fine. Unconscious, not dead. I thought I was waiting for the death message, but no, he was just sitting there, upright on his motorcycle, in the fire. Okay, no, it didn't take till uh, Trials Evolution for them to start playing with the end of level deaths. They're doing that in this game too. I wonder if they've ever done a uh, Trials game. And a game's done quick. It would be cool to see. Kind of like a front tire on fire is cool to see. Okay, just a little hop. That's all you gotta do in these games sometimes. Yeah. I can back up a little bit. Just gotta get some speed. Boy, you back slow in this game. I feel like you back faster in the later ones. Will back faster. Retroactively, this backing is slow. Well, they're, uh, they're generous with the checkpoints in this one. I appreciate that. They're like right there after a single jump. You get another checkpoint.
go. A little backing. I also feel like the later games were bouncier. Like I could hit I could hit something and my bike would bounce off of it with more force. In this game I get to just kind of stop when I hit a surface like that. Boulder dash. I just thought of something. Oh, there's other void silvers. So there's it's not always fake Shao Kahn. What are the other ones? I wanted to see if I can change my uh my bike. Uh-oh. Did the game just crash? Did we lose it? Oh no, it's fine. Oh, there's achievements. That's neat. That's something I can do on my own time. Uh, I guess, so that's bizarre because Trials Legends, the collection, the remakes of the Flash games had multiple bikes. I guess this doesn't. I thought maybe I could get I could do the loop easier if I had a different bike to try, but no, it's just uh, this probably came out before the Trials Legends, the remake of the Trials One stuff. Maybe I don't actually know the release dates of a lot of these games. It's again a very confusing history of the, tri the early Trials series. Oh, so close! Come on, just gotta do a little bit, little bit, little bit of flipping, a little flippy doos. Please activate the checkpoint, pretty please. Ooh, here we go. That'll do it. It is interesting to see the evolution of the series, though. Well, it'd be bizarre for uh, Trials Legends to have come out after this because the style was so 2D flash. Uh, it looked like Happy Wheels compared to this being a full 3D, 3D Trials game. Again, it was a remake of the first ones, which were Flash, so I doubt it, maybe. I'm just very surprised this one doesn't have multiple bikes. And, uh, Trials Evolution after this is gonna be, like, such a big leap in terms of content. why I said it's interesting to see the, uh, the way the series develops over its lifetime. We got a new Trials, Trials Rising, I want to say like two years ago. So I'm not really expecting anything new from the series for a little while. I wonder where it could go in the future, though. Like the big addition to Trials Rising... I don't know how big it is necessarily, but a addition was the tandem bike mode that uh, Jack and I showed off. 
which is basically two-player co-op, is new to the latest Trials game. Ah! This is, this is a tricky little segment. Trixie Hobbits. Oh, please! Please! Ah! We haven't heard the narrator yet. The no longer Shao Kahn, whoever the second narrator is. You know what else I'm curious about? It's just on the topic of uh, extreme sports games. Which I guess this arguably qualifies as. In the same sense that Mario is a parkour game. Uh, so Crash got a new game after the success of Insane Trilogy and Nitro Fuel. Spyro has not gotten that yet. We don't know if there's a Spyro 4 in production. I hope there is. That would be very cool. And, uh, Tony Hawk. The remake, the Tony Hawk 1 plus 2 remake was pretty well received. So I, I would love for a, a new, actually good Tony Hawk game. Actually good as compared to Tony Hawk 5. Which was more along the lines of Tony Hawk HD, a.k.a. Absolute Garbage. But this, the most recent Tony Hawk remake, was apparently very good. People liked it. And I would like to, it'd be, it'd be cool to see more from that series, too. Because they are very unique games, the Tony Hawk games. There's not really anything else like them. They don't even really get, uh, like, uh, copycats, like a lot of other games do. Like, you get people, indie creators, making variants of a ukulele to copy Banjo-Kazooie, or, uh... There are games that have tried to kind of fill the F-Zero void, like Revolt. And that doesn't really happen for Tony Hawk. No one else has really tried to capture the, uh... the tricks for points kind of formula. Because again, it's just so it's so very different in structure from a lot of the games that are just happening anymore. Maybe that's how I get out of this. Maybe not. See, in later Trials games, this right here, I would like bounce back more from that. The shocks get stronger. Not in this one. I wonder what the earliest, uh, you know what? I think I know what the earliest uh, Achievement Hunter trial stuff is. It's uh, Trials HD. Again, the Xbox Live Arcade exclusive one. Oh boy, we got rocks. Ho ho ho, Santa's got a lot of coal to give out! What was that? That was like a, a fake rock singer kind of dude? We got fake Aerosmith as our announcer. Or who's the, uh... 
That's TNT Dynamite. Is that Aerosmith? No, it's ACDC, right? I'm, I'm getting myself so mixed up. I'm trying to remember the name of the singer from that, whatever the band of that song is. One thing he always compares to Toad. And Marge Simpson. Same, same voice. It's all the same. Keith Richards. scarce narration in this game. They only really say anything when there is a, a death. Which should really be happening more often, logically. Ow. Ryan Johnson. That's the dude. Good start. That's what this is what a lot of the later levels in the game come down to is just getting the checkpoint. You don't need to survive, you just need to activate it. played it. At least as far as the uh, the Trials uh, Rising beta we got to try. Excessive binge of uh, Dragon Quest Builders 2 for a while. And I kinda I kinda overplayed it. I overwhelmed myself a little bit. I had to take a little break. I'm back on it now and I'm towards the very end of the game. So I'm almost done with it. Unfortunately I am enjoying it. I did pick basically, without realizing it, I picked pretty much the worst possible spot to do a stream of. Not only that, but I could have finished that, the part that I did in a single stream. But I didn't realize how close to the end I was. It was kind of a, kind of a big mess of a stream all around. Been playing Dragon Quest Builders, uh, Burnout Paradise, Roller Coaster Tycoon. I'm still chipping away at on and off. Still planning. I got uh, Open Roller Coaster Tycoon, the online version, set up. So eventually, 
still planning to do a uh, stream with me and Jack and Bacon all playing Roller Coaster Tycoon together. You know, as the old adage goes, everything is better with Bacon. Oh, come on. Please. Yes. Mm. Ooh. Got it. That's all you need. You just gotta activate it. probably the only weekend I can recall that I'm actually looking forward to being over. I want to I want to go to work tomorrow. I want to I want to start the work week. Because that means that I can get through the 2-day work week. I can get the Tuesday is the last day of school. I can be done with it. Bring on summer break. I'm ready. Oh, I see squirrels. Are there squirrels in this game? Is this the origin of the squirrels? It's just a bunch of actual squirrels in a warehouse together? Come on, get up. You can do it. The squirrels are watching. You gotta impress them. There we go. Yeah, death by squirrels. Okay, well now I gotta check something. Back to main menu. Uh, your stats. Zoom squirrel noises. What are the achievements? Awarded for being downright awesome. Okay. 10 hours of driving. 100 hours of driving. Completing every track. Completing every easy level without falling. Oh, ew. Oh, oh, I'm never gonna get all these. Completing all dynamic levels without any falls. Reach number one position on a track's leaderboard. That's, well, hmm. This is like a, t a t this is a 12 year old game, so that's not happening. Ladder madness without changing your posture. Construction work by holding the gas pedal the whole time. Beer case. So these are just like uh, staff member levels. Or staff member focused achievements, I guess. Falling between the last checkpoint and the goal after an otherwise flawless run. Oh, okay. Well, I'm probably going to get that one. Maybe. Now, otherwise flawless run, that might not happen. Completed all the easy tracks in under six minutes without a fall. Why would you do that to yourself? Inferno, and I think that's the hardest level in the game. Okay. I was curious if there was an achievement for collecting all squirrels or something, so this does not appear to be a game that has the, the squirrels in it. Oh, here's one of the levels that was mentioned, under construction. This is a uh, reassuring start. Maybe a little back up first. Maybe not. <gasps> ah! That was almost it. It's such a, this is such a muscle memory game, you just gotta replicate exactly what you did that one time that it worked. 
and then you never can. You're just flailing. Over and over again, you're just flailing! And then I flipped too much. So they were very generous with the checkpoints on the previous level. Not so much this one. Not at the start, anyway. Wait. Oh. Okay. Man, this would be a great place for a checkpoint. Wish I had one. Nope. No! Oh no, I can't reverse fast enough. Ah! Please! It was right there. I was right on top of the first checkpoint. It's okay, the muscle memory will kick in. I will now do it perfectly every time. I will eventually reach the point where I will do it perfectly every time. Just by virtue of said muscle memory. This is a lot more interesting with the, uh, being in 3D with the different camera styles than, uh, Trials Legends was. As a strictly... Th this was Trials Legends. It was just strictly flat. Actually, I think it only had... It didn't have, like, camera panning. Every level was a single screen. If I remember correctly. This is quite a leap, but just between Trials 1 and Trials 2. Let's try this for a little while. Let's try the, the flat camera. I'm sure this won't look weird when I do highlights. think uh, doing the full restart versus the quick restart actually makes a little bit of difference because uh, I have time to like start holding down the accelerator during the ready go so that I can land with the wheel spinning which is harder to do when you do the quick restart because you have to be holding it I guess you just have to be holding it when you do the restart first checkpoint is really very hard to get to. Really quite difficult. We're fine. We're good. Okay, just gotta get up and not fall down like an asshole! Try a different one. Oh, there's a second, like, uh, flat to the side one. Static. We're always on the same position of the screen. <sighs> Every time. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, pretty please. Let's try this. This will work. We can do this. Hello, Darian. This is going to be the one. This is when I do it. Maybe not. You missed most of the uh, most of the narrative of the stream. I am uh, about 90 minutes in, and now I'm just doing the usual uh, hard focus, wacky, difficult trials levels. Oh no! How am I not dying? It's just muscle memory. That's how I'm not dying super often with this camera mode. I'm not gonna make it with this camera mode. Really? I almost did. I'm sabotaging myself, but I don't care. Another thing I was planning to do was uh, because our Tony Hawk 3 stream got so, uh, so messed up, I wanted to do a, another stream of it, but all in first-person mode. Unfortunately, first-person mode is a cheat that you have to unlock by basically already doing everything in the game. So I have to, uh, like, totally play through the game on my own time. Okay, yeah, that's not happening. Back to regular cam. I have to play through the whole game on my own time to get the thing that I need to then do the stream of playing through the game. I just got done watching the Future Game show presentation. What? Who are Future Games? I saw they were doing something. I have no idea who they are or what they make. What are, what are they known for? Please! die for it, but I got it. Bunch of random developers. Oh, okay. So they just gave all of the... Was it like indie games? They just like gave all the devs who weren't big enough for their own full showcase. They just lumped them together into a showcase? I assumed Future Games was the name of a developer. Is it? Is it? careful not to hit the, the reset full level button. Oh boy. Oh no. There we go. Alright, now make it. Yeah! We're getting the, the Trixie jumps now. seemed like indie games a lot were minimalistic and artsy. So it was not a single studio. I don't know if, if uh, usually I watch uh, I watch Vinny cover E3. I, th 
think he mentioned not planning to do it last year, though. Or he mentioned during the 2019 one that he wasn't planning to do it 2020, which then, of course, 2020s was cancelled anyway, but... I don't know if he's doing it this year or not. If he did, then I will end up watching all of the shows. I mentioned... I mentioned you mentioned the, uh... the Final Fantasy stuff from the Square panel today, earlier in the stream. Which I'm curious if, uh... I'm curious about that Final Fantasy 1 spin-off game. If what what how's that going to go if they're like going to have proper names for characters given that Final Fantasy 1 didn't? Or if they're just going to go full on Goblin Slayer and just have them retain the names of the of the classes and that's it. Oh, come on. You can make it. Please make it. I'm ready for another level. I swear I am. They talked about Sonic Colors Ultimate. That's a... That's a Switch game. Why would they not have that for the Nintendo Direct? That is very bizarre. Come on! Come on! Ah, you can do it! Ah! Oh, it's not exclusive to the Switch. I guess Sonic Colors did not, like, really heavily feature motion controls. I guess I assume because the original was a Wii exclusive, it featured them prominent, fairly prominently. And therefore would only be coming to the Switch when it was remade. Although, I guess even if it did feature motion controls a fair bit, the port could have uh, made it so that they were there. Like, found a workaround for them, which I am so glad that they're doing now with, like, uh, Skyward Sword. And I wish, they'd, I wish they'd done it more with Mario Galaxy in the 3D collection. But we all know they weren't willing to put effort into that collection, so... Oh no, please? Nope, okay, we're going back down. Make it! You can make it! You can't make it. Got multiple routes again. I'm good with that. Let me see if I can go up and over like that. That seems like a much easier way to do it than the lower route. I say that and then I end up on the lower route again anyway. Oh, that's fine. Oh no! Oh no! Made it! It counts! They're completely remastering the sprites from the ground up in all games. Oh, okay. Interesting. 
How do you, how do you remaster sprites? Like they're just they're redrawing them? Established cast of character personalities. Okay, interesting. Who was the who was the the final boss in Final Fantasy One? Wasn't it just like a generic demon? Save that. Uh oh. Uh oh. I have to do a couple flips, that's fine. the narrator in a while again I guess he only says anything if I if I die like that proper which is the, this game is very lenient with a lot of things which should kill my dude don't he's a tough bastard Might just be the cord that I got. I use an Xbox One controller, and the cord has been uh, popping out of late. What is this? Oh, there's a ceiling. That's a very tight ceiling. Ah. Okay. That'll take some figuring. I'm gonna have to very, very carefully. How do I not bang my head after this? Like that. Okay. Well, that was not as hard as I thought. Save it? I can save it. One less rider needlessly killed for the sake of future death sport or whatever the whatever the story here is. This is not a story heavy series. Can I just can I cheese it? Can I go over the just go over the top? and not do any of that backflip stuff. Take some finagling, 
but I think I can do it. May I might even be able to lift it. I just need to hook the back wheel. That's what I need to do. That was another. That was another series that uh, Achievement Hunter used to do. Was uh, Trials Pig or Trials Horse, which was a multiplayer kind of thing they did before the games had multiplayer proper, and they would compete to uh, complete levels faster than the other person. It was interesting. I feel like I missed the high point of this series. Maybe. I don't know how much easier that is, but I can try. Please, get back. Oh, there we go. All right, that's what I gotta, I gotta do. I gotta ride the ceiling. Good crack. <sighs> so, uh, no Kingdom Hearts anything at the square panel, I'm guessing. Or people would be talking about it. No new uh, rhythm and or mobile games that you need to play to completion to get important story lore for the Kingdom Hearts franchise. Saving the Kingdom Hearts news for the Nintendo panel when they reveal Sora for Smash. That's totally what's gonna happen. Hopes are high. People got that, uh, pe people are here for the Smash. They're waiting for that, they're watching that Nintendo panel for the Smash news. And it's about time, it's about time for another character drop. The people are gonna be real, real disappointed. Hard another one is not revealed. That's every, that's every, uh, that's every direct spell. People always go in looking for Smash News and then they're, they're mad when they don't get it. It does feel like about time though. How am I gonna do this? This is one of those jumps that you can't afford to lose momentum on. Oh, ah, got it. Square Enix spent most of their presentation on a new Guardians of the Galaxy game. What are they doing with that? That sounds like an odd thing for Square to be involved with. What kind of game is it? They also recently announced that uh, project... What was it, was it? Triangle Strategy or something? I guess they don't have anything new to report on that. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh no. Uh, okay, I'll take it. Well done. Thank you. Oh, we're in the hard levels now. The next one is real hard. Thank you. It's like a cross between Brian Johnson and Goofy. I'm sensing sarcasm. This doesn't seem real hard. I say Im before immediately eating karma. Adventure game? Is it, was that what the Adventures game was like? Uh, sorry, Event Avengers? The only Marvel game I'm aware of is like Ultimate Alliance, which is like a like a tactics game, isn't it? Kind of. I guess I guess it could be called a hack and slash. Get the checkpoint. Please get the checkpoint. Oh my god, if you can't get this checkpoint. Okay. And I'm gonna die and be in a very bad position. This is a bad checkpoint. Come on, you can do it. Get on up. This level is really hard. There we go. There we go. Pretty please. Get on up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up, you piece of... God, that's a limit. I don't like the look of that at all. It's just, it's just like asshole worms girders. Someone strew about. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, it's so hard. Goofy doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh boy, this though. What are we gonna do with this? So begins. The question of impossible child trials drunk jumps. Child trumps. There was like a little Trump cartoon show or some some equivalent, wasn't there? I think that existed. I remember there was a Lil Bush on Comedy Central. Okay, I'll take that. Flip. Like this. Ah! Not enough! Hmm. Can I work with this? I don't think I can, but I'll, I can try. Let's 
quite a few dinosaur games during the future game show. Okay. Ah! Well, that could have been cool. Got it. We're good. Made it. Just one one checkpoint at a time. Maybe this will just be two streams. Maybe I can finish the hard levels or a portion of them and come back to do the like the specialty levels next time. Oh boy, get on up. Get over, please. Oh, eh, eh. Noises. Ah! I'm, just, I'm waiting for the point that I'm gonna accidentally hit the restart level button. And I'm gonna be so mad with myself. That's gonna be the end of the stream. I, I can't, I wouldn't be able to keep going after that. The amount of precision and articulation. You need to one cycle all this. It is, this is one of those games a lot like Spelunky where you just kind of have to get good. And you do. You, you get better as you play the games. Like, for sure. It's just trying over and over and over again until you get that muscle memory, until you master just the feel of the game and controlling it perfectly. Which I like in Trials case because it is in short bursts. It's very stark contrast with Spelunky or even Crash 4, where I have to commit to like really long amounts of time doing something a single level or a single run just to have it amount to nothing. This is more comparable to like, uh, this is Super Meat Boy on a motorcycle, is what Trials is. It's just very short, very difficult challenges. With abundant checkpoints. It's very, uh, very digestible. Which I appreciate about it. A trials game without checkpoints would just be a nightmare. Please. Yes? Okay, G please. Well, just put a checkpoint down here. Boy, I'd love I'd love one. Ah! I'm afraid to check the level list because I think that might exit the level. So I will wait until I finish this level to do so. This might be the last one we do. I'm approaching just about at two hours now. And it's looking like we might have about two hours left after this. If I stop around here. I don't remember the other, the later Trials games. Having stuff that can like, uh, hit you in the head if you don't lean correctly. 
I think they kind of, they, they overused that a bit in this game because they wanted to show off that it was now 3D and you could go, like, between stuff. That wasn't really a thing in Trials 1 because it was still a 2D game. Death Battle. Trials Rider versus Excite Bike Man. Oh boy. Oh boy! <sighs> it's such a narrow passage. I just, I kind of have to drop straight down somehow. I'm worried if I, if I go like uh, 90 degrees and ride it down. I won't have time to rotate before the ground. I do think these are fun games. You should, uh... They look like something that would interest you. You can try them on Steam. This one's only $10. It's always cheap because it is such an early game. The other ones get a little more pricey. And I don't like that the... The latest ones, like Trials Rising, because they're they're owned by Ubisoft Red Links. They require they have to run UPlay in order to uh, to play. That's always annoying when a game is is on Steam, but it's just kind of it's not really on Steam. You launch it, and it has to launch another program in order to run. Oh, you played the... You must have played Trials HD. That was the Xbox Live Arcade one. It's the only one I don't really have access to because I've never owned an Xbox. I don't actually know which was released first, Trials HD or uh, this one, Trials 2, second edition on PC. This was 2008. You know what? I can look that up real quick. Trials... Trials HD. Mm -hmm. 2009. Okay, so this did come first. They made Trials 2, and then they made a port of Trials 2 for PC, for, like, Steam. This, was, this might have been on, like, 360 as well. And then they made Trials uh, HD on the 360, the Xbox Live Arcade. And then Evolution was finally, finally multi-platform. And then it's much easier to follow after that point. They just made all the games multi-platform. You know what would be a nice mechanic? One custom checkpoint per level. Like, you have all the basic checkpoints, and then you get one that you can plop down wherever you think you might need it. Which is a, it's a baby mode thing to request, I know, but... Man, if I had one, I would love to place it just right here. I can If I lean forward, I bonk my head. But if I lean back, I'll fall off the ramp. This level is very hard. I warned you. I should have listened to Brian Johnson. I guess if you get through the whole level in one try, you could call that a one cycle. Yeah, I deserve that. Yeah, 
You know, it's another series that I've enjoyed playing but never streamed is uh, Bridge Constructor. I was playing a little bit of that earlier today. The problem is that I'm too dumb for Bridge Constructor, so I always get to like, uh, I make it like two-thirds through the game, and then I hit a point where I just, I can't get past the level, I hit a wall, and I just, I stop having fun, and I stop playing. This is every single Bridge Constructor game. Was Happy Wheels on Xbox Live Arcade? I know it was like a PC Flash game. Or it was a, it was a browser game. So yeah, Flash. I think that came out not too long after Trials gained popularity. Happy Wheels video game. Uh, 2010. Okay, so that was after Trials HD. Trials had gotten a few games in before Happy Wheels came about, as I kind of expected. I thought maybe at earliest Happy Wheels came in during the Trials Flash era. But no, it was after this and after Trials HD. It was after Trials had got off its feet and made some full, like, 3D professional games. The Happy Wheels came in and kind of swept up the, the Flash audience. Okay, let me try leaning back one more time. I'm going to lean back. I'm going to just gas very slowly. This is going to be my approach. I really... It's got to be real slow, though. Ah! Ah! Wow, I hated that! I hated all of that! I figured Happy Wheels was ported to mobile at some point. Well, this is this is a lovely this is a lovely ramp of death. GG, not yet. Oh, we got to get to the fun part of the level. That was the easy part. I swear, there, there are levels in Trials games that are just... Get up a vertical wall. How? I don't know. Figure it out, asshole. I remember watching a very early Rooster Teeth uh, Trials video. And Bernie was there, who was just very, very not nice to the Trials level design. He was just saying, like, there's no intent to it. This is a, They just place a bunch of random crap, and they hope you can get over it. Is, uh, there's obviously intent the level design it's very very hard and it's very very mean but it is designed Any news on the uh, on the move, Darian? I'm guessing your parents are still kind of backpedaling. Well, it's a shame if you had to uh, get good inter internet, we could use uh, Parsec. We could do stuff like uh, Mario Party or uh, four-player. I'd, I'd like to do the four-player trials with people. You just need to be everyone with uh, working Parsec. Oh, 
love when Michael plays ra games like this. I don't think you need a Rage Quit Trials, but there's a full series of, uh... Hello! That's a cool... Yeah. The wild motor raptor in its natural habitat reaches for the pit of fire. Success. You're moving two houses down. What? Well, what's the point? That's a whole lot of build-up for a whole lot of nothing. Uh, I don't think there was ever a Rage Quit Trials, but, uh... They had a full... They had t t multiple trial series. They had Trials Files, and they had, uh, Trials Horse, or Trials Pig. That Michael might have played on. I, th I think he did play on a few times, where they would play user-created levels. A lot of which were really ridiculous. Actually, there was a... I don't remember which Trials game it was. People would get insanely, like, creative with the uh, level editor. And they found way... There was... Someone made, like, a 3D monkey ball style game in the, in the Trials track creator. I have no idea how it was done. There was some ludicrous stuff that was shown off in those videos. It really, I, I really liked the, the Achievement Hunter Trials videos. Oh, are you renting your current place? I would, love, I would love to own a house. Seems so very out of reach. For uh, the millennials, particularly the millennials in Washington, but... I guess that's not necessarily... It's not exclusive to us. The housing market is insane everywhere in 2021. Early 2021. For people watching this in the future, the bubble hasn't popped yet. I'll see you in 2022. I've looked at other places even just to rent, just because the place I have is, uh, the place I rent has a lot of really good things about it. It's a duplex. I'm not super close to any neighbors, so I can be reasonably loud if I need to is a big thing. I've got my own washer dryer, also very important. The main things is it doesn't have a dishwasher, and, uh, it doesn't, I, it doesn't allow pets. I, I, would, I would love that cat. So, those are two of the main things. Uh, also, I can't mount things on the walls, which is a kind of a big hassle in many ways. My sound booth is ghetto as shit as a result of that landlord limitation. So, I would, I would absolutely love to own, but... Probably won't be anytime soon. Just millennial things. I'm still on this fucking wall ramp. This 70 degree asshole ramp. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Also, I would not want to own a house out in the middle of nowhere with terrible internet. Having actual decent internet is very important. There's a, uh, there's apparently talks in the feds right now. I'm not going to get political, don't worry. But there's, uh, arguments about infrastructure packages and things like that, and one of the, one of the discussions is about internet and whether to prioritize, like, uh, just getting, getting better internet, or 
to prioritize getting any internet out to places that don't currently really have access. But you know, any anywhere in the world has uh, has like dish access, more or less. So I can't I can't quite see how that's as big an issue when it comes, to, especially because the ca the cable monopolies in the United States are a big limiter for uh, us having not so great internet. Whereas in a lot of European areas, it's either a government-provided service in some form, or there are at least... There are laws that basically make it so that a single company can't monopolize the cables. Like, they're legally required to rent out their Fios networks to other competing companies for a price. They, they have to be paid for, this, for the fact, but... It's seen as kind of a necessary thing to prevent the monopoly situation that America has. Hey! Well done. Thank you. Oh, that was only hard four. No, hard two. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six hards left. Three flips, three wheelies, four dynamics and any, whatever of the downloadable ones we want to do. That might be three streams. How much did we do today? We did a lot of easy and medium levels today. I would guess that I can get through most, of, I can get through most or all of the in-game levels in one more stream, and then I can do a third stream with all the downloadable levels. Is what I anticipate will be the, will be how things will transpire. But, uh, I'm done for today. That was a good two hours. I, I have fun playing Trials. It was, it was a fun game. In short bursts. Eventually I run out of commentary. And then it's not as fun. Then it's just me kind of doing, me, me doing muffled screams at motorcyclists. So, I'm gonna call it here. Uh, school ends this week. I will be able to stream more in coming days. Maybe something on Wednesday. Probably, uh, no, I'm doing the Nintendo Direct on Tuesday after work, so I will see you Tuesday evening, hopefully. Adios.